Hello, welcome back to my channel, Family Tech, where you get all the tech tips, news, and information you didn't even know you needed. Today I'm gonna talk about how to install and control a Chromebook. Now, there's a couple different issues here that we'll need to address, so we'll get right into it. Now, for a Chromebook, first, a Chromebook is a great device for a kid. It is fairly inexpensive and it allows them some access to different school applications like Canvas and uh, Google Classroom and things like that. And it also allows them the ability to have some entertainment. Now, there are a couple ways you can obtain a Chromebook. One, just buying the Chromebook yourself, or two, you get it issued from your school. Now, the school-issued Chromebooks are going to be a bit of an issue. So sometimes if you have a school issued Chromebook, first, they usually are associated with this child's school account. Now the child's school Gmail or Google account is controlled by the school. And as such, you can't add it to Google Family Link, which is how you would be able to control the Chromebook. So the school is who actually has control over the Chromebook, and you really don't have a lot of access in order to limit any type of use on the Chromebook itself because the school is the one controlling the account. Now, the other issue is if the school actually requires you to have a VPN back to the school's protected network. Now, a VPN I've talked about before, it takes a device and it basically places that device virtually on a different network. So while it's on that network is when it has all of the controls in place. So. If you have a VPN installed on this Chromebook, not only are you not going to be able to control it through Google Family Link because it is the school issued account, but you also won't be able to control it with your own Wi-Fi restrictions. So if I set restrictions on my home Wi-Fi that you can't access YouTube during certain hours or things like that, then those restrictions wouldn't be in place if you have to have a VPN back to the school's protected network because the school is who is setting all of those restrictions. So any VPN that you have to use on this Chromebook will bypass any restrictions that you've put on your home Wi-Fi. So those are the two things that you kind of need to be aware of, especially with school issued Chromebooks. Now, if you do have a school issued Chromebooks, like I said, you can set up certain restrictions restrictions on your Wi-Fi in order to limit some of the time spent on that Chromebook. So what you can do is install a Wi-Fi router with parental controls and set up a profile for this Chromebook and put various restrictions on it. Again, this is only if it does not require a VPN back to the school. So if you set up restrictions that way, then you can limit the device to having some sort of control. You know, you can turn it off at a certain time at night. You can make sure it's not visiting any uh, inappropriate websites and things like that. So you can do all of that through your Wi-Fi network. Again, as long as it doesn't have a VPN required back to the school protected network. If you do have a device that's a Chromebook, it's school issued, it requires a VPN, there's a, not a lot that you can do about that device. What I would do is limit that device to only school use. So you can set this device aside. It's only available to use during school time. Anytime other than that, it is put away just because you do not have any management or control over that device. And so I would set up a different device, get your own Chromebook or things like that in order to have a little bit more control over that. But, um, and that's a really good lesson too for kids to realize that anything that I do on this device needs to be school related. It's a good lesson because anytime if they get a job in the future and they get issued a device, then 
it's a lesson to them that this device is used for business use only. And if I need to use something for a personal use, I need to use my own devices because this device is the business's device. They are responsible for it. And anything I do on that can come back and bite me. So um, that's a really good lesson to learn when you have a school issued Chromebook like that. But now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, say you have your own Chromebook, you purchased it, you're setting it up for your kids. Let's dig into exactly how to get that set up for your children. The first thing you're going to need is a Google Family Link account. Now there's two types of Google Family Link accounts. For children that are under 13, you create the Google Family Link account inside your own phone. So you have a phone and you download Google Family Link, the parent app, and you can create a child's account directly here. Now, if the child is over 13, you cannot create their account through Google Family Link. You have to create them a Google account um, that is just a regular Gmail Google account. But once you've created that account, then you will need to add it to your Google Family Link. Now you can do that through the Chromebook itself or you can do it online. If you go to this website and follow the instructions here, you can log in and get that Google Family Link account associated with your own account. So once you've got the Google account all set up for your child, go ahead and turn on the Chromebook. It should walk you through the settings and if it is a Google Family Link managed account, it is going to require you to approve them to log into the Chromebook. Now what's really great about this is with a Google Family Link account on the device, it is not going to allow them to add any other Google accounts to the device unless you manually approve it. And that's going to make sure they're not circumventing any of your restrictions that you have set through Google Family Link on the Chromebook itself. So here are some of the features that you can enjoy through, uh, through Google Family Link settings. So the first thing you can do is you can set a bedtime. So the device will not be available to use at any time during this time frame if you have set the bedtime. You can also set a time limit for the device altogether. Uh, and you can also set time limits for different applications. So if you have YouTube or anything like that, you want to limit time spent on those, you can limit time on that as well. You can set up different bedtimes for different devices. So if you have an Android phone, they can have a different bedtime than the Chromebook and things like that. Um, you can also set up different settings within Chrome. So you can set it up so it's only allowed to visit safe websites, or you can kind of try and limit adult content and things like that. You can turn safe search on and you can turn safe YouTube on as well well. So there are a ton of different settings. You can limit the access to the Google Play Store to just things that might be appropriate for your child. So again, there's just a ton you can do to really lock down a Chromebook in order to make it a little bit safer for your child. So, and then obviously one of my favorite things to do at any time is just to lock the device. If I hit lock now, it'll turn off the device for any given period of time until I make manually unlock it, which I really love to do. If you know they need to go do their chores or do something, then you can just go ahead and lock up the device and everything is just fine. So, so let me know if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I am at Family Tech on all social media platforms. I answer direct messages on Instagram and I post different questions that I get every single day on Instagram stories. So uh, go ahead and follow me over there. Subscribe and give this video a like and hopefully you've got your Chromebook all set up and good luck. <laughs>